Hello Cancer, Cancer Rising, and Cancer Moon people. This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting October 16th, 2017. And a quick reminder for all of y'all out there, remember, if you ever want to get a session with me, you do need to go to my website, integrativemysticism.com. That's where you can uh, schedule a session with me, an appointment with me via phone or Skype, or you can order a downloadable video file. So what is going on with your astrology this week? Anyhow, well, on Wednesday, we've got Mercury, planet of communication, haste, and speed, forming a tight conjunction with Jupiter, a planet of joy, luck, and abundance and expansion in your fifth house of love and romance and your relationships with your kids, Scorpio. And there could actually be a speed up and perhaps even, uh, I guess you could say, an expansion on some kind of reward or some kind of effort to get closer with a partner or get closer with a child. We actually could see faster developments for those of you who are trying to even become pregnant during this time uh, because Jupiter tends to put all of our efforts and all of the payoff for our efforts a bit on steroids. Uh, with Mercury conjunct this, we could be seeing faster developments in terms of, you know, people falling further and further in love. I would say use a bit of caution though, however, don't fall in love with being in love. You know, make sure that you stay, um, you know, you stay grounded in it because sometimes these energies can get us, you know, we get a little high off it like a drug as opposed to, you know, you know, form that strong, you know, cohesive relationship in the very beginnings. That being said, it's totally okay to join, a, you know, to, to, you know, to have that honeymoon. Jupiter here, however, with Mercury can create um, a situation where, again, there's more than we expected. Um, you may be finding that this week that there is more than one potential, uh, you know, partner out there for you or potential crush, and you may be finding that while you were looking for one, you may have a hard time making a decision this month uh, between more than one option. So, just putting it out there. On Thursday, we've got a new moon and the sun in Libra, your fourth house of home and family, forming an opposition to Uranus, currently in your 10th house of career. And there could actually be some kind of disruption to the way you go about handling your work schedule, um, either coming from a, a new move opportunity or a design, you know, there, or perhaps even a new promotional opportunity. The home and career balance is in flux, and a lot of this has to do with, again, either a change in the job or a shift in the home. This could actually turn out to be something very, very, you know, wonderful for all of you. But at the same time, there must be a compromise or a deal must be struck here. And it seems a little bit out of the ordinary. It seems like it's kind of throwing your whole schedule a little bit out of whack uh, for the first, you know, for the first two weeks, you know, considering this new moon's energy involved here. Um, if you are feeling like you don't know how to, whether to choose, you know, to, to stay put uh, when it comes to either of these situations, you know, you can take this for a bit of a test drive. Um, but you may find out that there's a price uh, for, you know, some kind of big shift you want either at the home or on the job, and it may be a priority or a commitment to the other. Uh, that being said, you may be perfectly happy paying that price, but again, you may want to take it for a test drive first. So what's going on with your spiritual advice? Well, for your spiritual advice, your cards, we've got the card of the fox. And the fox is always a nice uh, kind of reminder that not all conflict is necessary. Because um, when we look at the fox, we talk about an, an animal that is both prey and predator at the same time. And so it's important to know when to, you know, avoid, I guess you could say, an unnecessary battle, an unnecessary altercation, an unnecessary argument. Um, the fox can talk about this week going by very, very easily, um, you know, very easy breezy, very minimal challenges, if there is anything in the challenge, we haven't looked at your challenge card yet, but with the fox card it's also saying anything that, you know, that any kind of conflict that came, comes up may, may actually be voluntary underneath it all. Um, and the fox card is saying it may also be unnecessary. When it comes to the fox, it's going to be a week where instead of trying to go in and correct dysfunction, it may be wiser to actually avoid it. And this is me saying it. Usually I like to go in in a tank. But the, you know, with what I, what I look at here is that, you know, if there's anything that comes up negatively this week, you know, just be aware that we don't necessarily have to, again, address it head on right there, call it out in the moment. In fact, the fox is saying that the worst thing you can do is not let something germinate for a little bit, even if it may seem a little bit unpleasant. Remember, it's just for one week. For your Earth sector, when it comes to your work and finances, we do have the King of Wands reversed. <clears throat> there could be some frustrations going on at the office this week. 
uh, regarding a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, or somebody with those qualities who's not doing their part. Now, this could also happen in a non-employment situation. This could be somebody who's handling, um, you know, some financial priorities of yours. This could be a business partner. Uh, this could be even a client or a customer. Usually with the King of Wands reversed, we do see somebody, though, again, we say they're not doing their part. Everyone has an obligation to do something. You know, even the customer, even the client. You know, with, if they make an appointment, they have an obligation to show up for said appointment. You know, the, the King of Wands reverse can say that these disruptions could be bumping up against other priorities that you have at work or other priorities that you have when it comes to, you know, where you're spending your money and when you can spend it. And this week, you know, with the King of Wands reversed, we're not talking about avoiding conflict, but by not, you know, addressing the situation. Sometimes with the King of Wands reversed, we literally need to put them on the back burner. You know, and I've had situations like that come up in my life as well. I've had partners and venues and things like that that didn't do their part. You know, they no 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 call, no showed, or <clears throat> or you know, no response for whatever reason. You know what? You have to put the next person in line first. You can't let yourself wait and make everyone wait on somebody who's making you wait. Um, not this week, okay? The King of Wands reverse can indicate as well. Um, those of you who are looking for new work, again, may actually take on a different job because another prospect has been making you wait for too long. And that is perfectly fine, and that job will show up. For your communications with air, when it comes to your friends, your relatives, and the others in your life, we do have the Knight of Swords reversed. And again, a test in the ability to avoid a conflict. But the reason we're avoiding a conflict with this friend or relative is because they're not necessarily able to communicate it right now. Some people start emoting before they're ready to say what they need to say. Some people don't know how to articulate what they need to say. And with the Knight of Swords reversed, that's usually what we see. We see somebody who is upset, uh, but they can't put those feelings into words yet. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm catching a cold. Um, they can't put those feelings into words yet. They can't put those energies uh, into work to even serve themselves. So getting into a fight with them may just end up having the two of you hurt each other's feelings and really there's no cohesion in that discussion. A good debate, a good argument, that's great, you know, especially if people are doing it to learn and to understand and have discourse. Some people are not ready to do that. Some people cannot do that. And the Knight of Swords reversed is typically one of them. If it seems like somebody is not willing to sit down and have a discussion because they'd rather just spin out of control, you don't gotta be there. And they can spin just fine. You don't have to spin with them. <clears throat> For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the world card upright. Um, looks like this week, honestly, in spite of these little, little itty bitty bits of issues here, is actually going to be a, you know, a, a good week for the most part because, well, with the world card upright, a lot of things in your life, so long as you choose not to blend it with unnecessary and dysfunctional characters and situations, are remaining intact and still going through their own evolution. The world card as a challenge can ind indicate that this week you may have to decide when you are too good for something. Um, and that might sound really arrogant to say to yourself, but you know, you are, you know, we are all too good for a lot of things. I'm too good to live in the mess <laughs> that I keep on my desk, which thank God you can't see. Um, you know, you are, you know, we're all too good for, you know, certain types of treatment. We are all too good for certain types of dysfunction. Again, if somebody, you know, doesn't want you to catch them while they're spinning out of control, they want you to spin out of control with them, you're too good for that. And the challenge with the world card is saying, okay, where can you actually raise those standards and keep those standards? Other than that, though, the world card upright may even say that you have an unexpected reward or payoff coming at the worst possible time with the best possible news. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, you do have the nine of pentacles reversed. Um, this card, not necessarily super, super bad, um, but when it comes up reversed, the nine of pentacles reversed is kind of saying when it comes to a crush or a partner, you are going to be noticing that there are some f things that this person is afraid to do on their own or for themselves. Um, this can be a card that may seem a little bit codependent, um, you know, or a little bit immature, but what I tend to find when I see this card is that um, you're really tapping into a place where a crush or a partner is, again, very, they're, they're very, very doubting about their ability to go through with something. Sometimes this happens, you know, everyone has that thing they're self-conscious about. There may be a problem where a person does not want to adult in a certain situation because, you know, it doesn't matter how old they are. They could be 30, they could be 45. You know, with the Nine of Pentacles reversed, maybe they don't feel like they're smart enough or experienced enough or savvy enough or whatever. And you may notice that they really want you to kind of hold their hand through it. I always say when you get the Nine of Pentacles reversed, it's okay to hold their hand so they get started, but let go once they do. It's 
kind of like getting a kid to ride their own bike, okay? But that should be an interesting situation nonetheless because it could actually be good for them and you. So that is your horoscope, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.